to hear what's going on. Uh, I think most of our folks would know that you're in England already. Maybe some aren't aware of it, but we're thankful for you and thankful to be behind you. Hope everything's going well. Let us know what's going on. Yeah, uh, we've been here for just about seven months now, and we're still sorting through some of the preliminary things and details we're taking driving classes that's been quite an experience they are very particular about the way you drive here we have found out <laughs> um but that's going well so there's details like that we're sorting through um we're, it's a, a blessing to be able to be involved at Lascar baptist church we're working with kent and andrea gossmeyer and we've been able to assist with them right off the bat actually kent ended up having an eye injury and I was able to fill in for about a month for him. And there's another missionary about an hour away that I'm actually filling in for for two Sundays because he's out of town. So we're able to, to serve in those areas and we're getting involved in, in the community here. The, the Actually, our whole family takes a Taekwondo class. And that's been um, surprisingly one of the most profitable areas of our ministry so far. Um, we've gotten to know the instructor really well and they did a family camp and he ended up allowing me to do a service so I got to share the gospel with with several lost people who attended Amen. there, and he's become really open. He's not he's not ready to accept the gospel yet, but he, he's getting he's getting closer. He's beginning to ask questions, and so we're really praying for him. His name is um, Mark Bishop, and and then there are just some other relationships there. Just the other night, actually, I got to talking to one of the parents, and we had a good conversation for about 20 minutes about the lord and then at the end of the conversation she dropped the bomb that oh and by the way i'm an atheist <laughs> um, well, and amen. so but that, that that's not um too rare here but she was she even expressed appreciation that it was good to have a civil conversation about the lord with a christian and, and one of the things we're finding um repeatedly almost is a lot of the people we meet with they haven't they haven't really been around a born again Christian ever in their life. What they think about Christianity is is the the Anglican Church here, which is it, it's really just a bunch of rituals. So, so pe people are friendly, but they're they're curious about meeting someone who thinks about God and re religion as something other than just very starchy and 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 routine. So, so that's been that's, that's been that's been a blessing to, to experience. And we're, we're, we're getting out there. I've been letterboxing Cornwall where we are right now. Eventually we plan to be up in Manchester, but Cornwall is a more rural area. And there's just dozens of these little villages all over the place that are spread out. And the other day I went, I went passing out literature and it took about an hour and a half just to get them into about 50 doors because I, I tell people it's like, it's like door knocking in a rabbit warren. There's just houses behind houses, and you're going down alleyways. And so th there's there's routines. I, I spent about five minutes trying to find the front door until uh, a, a nice guy finally pointed out that I was at the back of the house. So there's a lot of learning curve like that, <laughs> but, but but things are going well. We're 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 in, enjoying it, and God's God's been really good. We're, we 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 cannot complain. It, it's it's been good. How how are the girls like the kids? They, they love it. They, Arden, the younger one, she doesn't remember what it was like to live in one place before deputation. So for her, this is the first place she's ever lived and got to make friends and stay with them for more than a week. Amen. So <laughs> well, that's great. So she's yeah. Like, yeah. She's yeah. tired of and, deputation. Yeah. Wemberly is, is making friends wherever she goes. Like she usually does. I, I, we kind of tell people one of our primary sources of ministries, we kind of just turn Wemberly loose and then, follow in her wake and meet people <laughs> yeah no she'll definitely be able to but meet people doing. for you well that's great brother so let yeah, us sure. know maybe some prayer requests that we can uh we can pray about for the ministry and then some personal prayer requests and some needs or something we can pray about for you definitely um ministry wise one of the things that we've we, we've heard from missionaries who've served in the UK for an extended period of time. And now we're finding out is we've become really aware of how much we just need the Holy Spirit to work in hearts. Um, we can talk about God. We have people coming to the church. They've been coming to the church for months and they've heard the gospel over and over again, but they just aren't willing to make a decision on that. And as we're building relationships, that's what we're finding. English people are just very slow to make decisions and you can't force them into it. 
And we really just need the Holy Spirit. And so um, our Taekwondo instructor, Whitney, has a, a pottery class she takes with a, with a really nice man. He has leukemia, and he knows he doesn't have much much longer on this earth, but he's just not willing to, to, to make a decision on it. And it's just one of those things we're becoming very aware of how, how much we just need the Holy Spirit to do what we, we can't do. Um, so just pray that the Holy Spirit would work in, in some lost people that are, that are hearing about the Lord, but they just need to make a decision regarding it. Um, yes, sir. and then, yes, sir. Um, for our family personally, uh, it, it might sound silly. It, it's a very humbling request, but my wife and I need to pass our driving test. <laughs> our our driving instructor has been amazing, but he has also made it clear that we have a long way to go, <laughs> and we do need to get our license within our first year in country. And so, so, so that's a that's a personal that that's a personal need there. Is it because you got to drive um, on the other side of the road that makes it so difficult? It, it's not the other. It's not necessarily the other side of the road. I can drive and I don't get in accidents. But the 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 rules of the road over here are very different than America. And the driving instructors, they specifically, they they want you to be able to pass everything. It, it's one of the kind of cultural differences we've realized here is in America, having a license almost seems like a right that everyone has. But in England, people go their whole lives routinely and never get a license. So to to like to English people. Getting a license is like something that you earn, and it's, it's a big deal. So so there's quite a few hoops we have to jump through. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll definitely pray about that. Any, yes, any personal um, needs you guys have? or the, Honestly, the, the Lord has, has, has met our needs. We've had several churches take us on since we got to the field, and God's, God's really met our needs as far as financially goes and in, in, all, in all of those areas. It's just continue to pray that that he would make the the timeline clear that we should move up to Manchester. Um, we know we'll be okay. here for for about another year, and then after that, the goal is to move up and 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 start a church up there. So we're excited about that. Yes, sir, brother Barrett. We'll sure pray about all that. And that's a blessing. Pray that you pass that driving test. Um, I want you to to tell brother Kent. I don't know if I ever told you the story about. I may have about going uh, whitewater rafting with Kent and uh, and Rick Carter and him flying out of the raft and landing in the water, and those firemen had to drag him back on the boat and he was humbled. Uh, and brother Kent's a funny guy, uh, and he and he's kind of got a strong personality. So I'd never seen him look. He looked like a ghost when he got back in that water. So I asked him, "Did I tell you about that story?" <laughs> You haven't told me uh, that. Yeah, no, it's a great story. Ask Brother Ken about it. Ask him, but I'll tell you what happened. He was he was having a great time, but he he flew out of that boat, man, and it was scary. And they're 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 I think they're grade three rapids, so it was a pretty good rapid. Uh, but he he was humbled that day, hurt his leg, and and I, I don't know what God was trying to teach him that day, but he, he taught me to laugh, and so it was a blessing. And so yeah, tell Brother Kent. We'll definitely pray for your wife. Your wife okay? She need anything? Um, no, she's doing well. She just needs a lot of grace homeschooling our girls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. I understand. I understand that. Well, we're going to pray for those things for you, Brother Barrett. And uh, we're going to, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely keep us in tune on that. If when you get that license, that'd be awesome. Uh, and, you know, and then we'll pray for the Holy Spirit. I wrote that down, brother, because that's a phenomenal statement that is not, I don't think I've, I've really heard anybody put an emphasis on that in a long time. Uh, but that's what we all need is the Holy Spirit to work in the hearts of people. Uh, because without it, uh, it's not going to work. And and I know they're very cold over there. But, of course, you know, and our folks may not know, but it was a hotbed for the gospel at one point. And many people say that America has direct, uh, it's a direct correlation of what's happening in America today. Uh, where they will get so cold that we won't even want it. It'll go somewhere else in the world probably. Uh, and so I'm thankful that you're there, brother. It's amazing. And if you need anything, let us know. When we get off with you, we're going to go ahead and have a word of prayer. And we're very thankful to be able to support you and to be a part of that ministry and, and everything over there. It's awesome, brother. We, I've been keeping up with you on Facebook and your letters. And so very thankful for you, Brother Barrett. Thank you so much, Brother Gates. Yes, Thank sir. you, Liberty Bell.
Yes, sir. Keep preaching, brother. I know that when you started preaching, brother, uh, uh, Kent's pulpit, the people probably liked it. So you're a good preacher. Yeah. So I praise the Lord for you. All right, brother. Love you, man. You guys be careful. Okay. Thank you. Yes, All right. sir. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and pray for them. What a great statement. We need the Holy Spirit to work in hearts. It's a very cold place. Well, if you look at the history, you know, D.L. Moody went over to England and uh, shook the place for Jesus. I mean, literally, and he was a very uh, not well-spoken man, but went over there and God blew in. And then, of course, uh, uh, the Prince of Preachers, uh, Charles Spurgeon, had a great church over there, and, and many, many different things went on over there. And now it's a cold place to the gospel. They really... It would be like uh, nowhere in America. I mean, we we get a friendlier welcome at the doors anywhere in America than you will in England. So pray for them because that's exactly right. When you knock on a door, you need the Holy Spirit to tell them they're lost. And uh, we can be articulate. We can have all the things to say, and it does not matter as much as the Holy Spirit working in lives. And I want to pray for our church for that too. Uh, I, I, you know, I hope that you're trying to lead people to Christ. I'm hoping if I raise, had you raise your hand that several people have given the gospel this week. Uh, and, and really, church, listen to me. You, you, can, you, can, you can say, well, you know, I wish you were more positive. I am positive. But that's your job is to tell people about Christ and to give them the gospel. That is the requirement of a Christian. And it's all through there. God wants us to do it. And, uh, and so let's make sure that we are. And then pray for the Holy Spirit to work in the heart of somebody. Uh, you know, you can, I've been with guys in, in Bible college that didn't speak real well and people got saved. And then I've been with guys that could give the plan of salvation better than anybody ever heard and they didn't get saved. What would be the difference? Well, it might be the Holy Spirit working. And so we need that. We need that in our city. We need that for these people outside that are going to freeze through this winter. Uh, the, all the lost people, all the people under K and A, God's given us a great responsibility to reach all of them. It's really sad what's going on uh, in our in our area, and we just have to uh, give the gospel. Okay, so make sure you do that. Let's pray for the Barretts right now. Father, Lord, thank you for Brother Riley. Thank you for him taking his family and moving them across the ocean and uh, going to a place, Lord, that is uh, seemingly cold, spiritually speaking. But, Lord, your, your Holy Spirit can change that. And the man of God and the woman of God and the kids of God can have a part in that. And, Lord, we do pray that the, the Holy Spirit of God would work on the behalf of your word, upon the behalf of Brother Barrett and you as they speak to them. And lives would be changed, God, and they would continue to grow and learn everything they need to learn where they're at there in uh, Cornwall. And then, Lord, uh, get ready to get to Manchester in your timing. Thank you, Lord, for Brother Gossmeyer. What a great man of God. Been over there for years. The blessing he is, him and his wife. And, Lord, I, I pray for their driving test. Uh, Lord, seems like an easy request for us. We just kind of get our licenses pretty simple. Uh, but, Lord, they have asked for prayer, and so we we will pray, and I pray that we would keep that on our hearts until we hear of them getting it so they can drive around and reach people for the Lord. I pray for their children, especially that little Wimberly, Lord. What a blessing she was to our church and her little personality. And I uh, pray that you'd help open doors with her, Lord. And God, see a great, great uh, harvest of souls and for you to open the floodgates somehow, Lord. I know that you won't force them to get saved, and I know many of them will go to hell because of unbelief and because of hard hearts. But, Lord, we still do pray that you'd be able to open their eyes and they'd be able to see you, and I know that that's important to you too, Lord. Thank you for taking men and women of God and using them. Please bless it. Help us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Brother Paul, we'll go ahead and lead in the song here.